Hi there, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Emmanuel. In this tutorial, we are going to be creating the logo on our screen. This logo is for a mobile graphics design group that I created on Facebook where we share design ideas and we share our design resources. So kindly check it out on Facebook. Now, the app we're going to be using for creating this logo is called Pixel Lab. Pixel Lab is a mobile application that is used on mobile phones to create graphics design. If you're an Android user, you simply head on to Google Play Store and download this application to your mobile phone to get started. If you're an iOS user, you head on to iOS Play Store and you download the app on your phone to get started. Without further ado, let's head on to creating our logo. The first thing you want to do is to create a default canvas. That's a plain canvas where you'll be creating your design. So we'll hit on the default page beside um, this my project here so you click on it and you have a plain canvas next thing you want to do is to take off the new text layer because we don't need a text layer for now so we'll delete it and you head on to the top left corner to click on the plus icon to add a shape so we'll add a shape and we'll change our shape from a square to a circle so the next thing you want to do is to reduce the opacity down to zero, you take it off down to zero and then you increase the stroke to about 5px. I think 5px is fine, okay? Then you check and then you scale it up a bit, you scale it up a bit and then you position it to the center by using this relative positioning. You position it vertically to the center and horizontally to the center and you check the next thing you want to do is to select the circle is selected and then you copy it to duplicate then you drag it and then you scale it a bit and then you use this relative position option to position it right in the center of the bigger cycle okay i feel the space is a bit small so we'll scale it down a bit and then we'll position it again like this okay i think this is okay now the next thing we want to do is if you check from the previous um, logo on our screen when we started it's having a kind of a gold the gold edge the, the stroke is having some kind of gold effect so to achieve this effect we'll be adding a texture a gold texture to our shape so you head on to the texture but ensure that your shape is selected so you click on this texture you would like to download the texture of your choice from google i have this gold texture that i downloaded from google so i'll be using it for this tutorial so you select the gold texture and then you check you can see that the gold texture has been applied to the inner circle so you select the outer circle and do the same head on to texture and then you select and then you locate the texture from your phone and then you apply it so the two circles are having the texture applied the next thing we want to do is to add the rounded text on the top of our shape. So you head on to the shape icon or you go to the plus icon up there and then you add a text. So we drag it to the center and we double click on it to edit. The text we have on there is a mobile graphic designers designers yes just like that and we'll click ok so we we'll, we'll want to drag it a bit so that our text will fit on the same line with the mobile graphic so we drag it up like this and i guess it's fine so what we want to do is we want to edit our text and change the font style so with our text selected you come to the edit with our text selected you scroll to locate the size first of all we we'll reduce the size a bit to 
let's say 35 px and we check then we'll change the font to a different font i think i'll be using i'll be using this i think i'll be using this for this tutorial or let me use this okay this is fine so you check and then you you check okay if you make any mistake you can go back and undo just like i rotated this so i'll undo it to take it back to how it was so i'll drag it to this point and then there's an effect to fit a text to part and this effect is known as cough just right here so i'll click on it and then if you drag it backward you are curving the text the other way around but if you drag it inward like this you're curving the text inward to fit to the part so you drag it a bit and then you try to position the text to fit into the circle so we drag it inward a bit and then we'll try to place it neatly here so you can see that the text is touching the inner cycle so we'll reduce it a bit and then we'll place it neatly here and i think this is okay so we'll check and then the next thing we want to do is to create the abbreviation that is the m g d that stands for the mobile graphics design in the center right so what we want to do is we'll duplicate this text layer by clicking copy and we'll have it just right here or let's just delete it and we'll create another text layer so we'll create we'll double we'll drag it to the center and we'll double click on it we'll remove the new text and then we'll add m mobile graphics designer mgd so we'll click on ok so what we want to do next is to change the font style and then we'll change the size as well so let's change the font style first so we'll come to the font and then we'll look for a sheriff like um, font and let's use this chunk 5 so we'll click on ok i think this is fine then we'll change the style we'll change the size sorry we'll increase it a bit increase it yes or we'll decrease it a bit so that it doesn't touch our circle so we'll decrease it decrease it and then i think it's okay so what we want to do is we want to position it properly at the center of our circle so we'll position it horizontally and vertically and then i think it's fine now the next thing we want to do is to create the gold effect on our text in the center and to do that we'll be adding a texture so we'll add the gold texture to this add the gold texture that we have on our phone to it so we'll select it and we'll click ok yeah and that's fine so the next thing we have on our logo is the abbreviation mgd and it's going to fit into the circle downward so we'll head on to our text and then we'll create another text layer we'll edit it and then we'll have m and then dash space we'll give a space dash we'll give another space g then we'll have another dash and then space and we'll have the i'll click ok so the next thing we want to do is to change the font so we'll head on to our font here and then we'll change the font let's use um let's use the chunk 5 again so we we'll use this and then we'll fit the text to the part down here so we'll fit it here neatly and then i think this is perfect so the next thing we want to do is to add another silver layer to our text that are fit in the part so we'll select the graphics design text here and then we'll change the texture i have um a gold text i have a silver texture on my phone that i'll be using for that and 
this is the texture this so i'll select it and then okay apply it i'll also select this and add a texture to it and i'll apply this and i'll click on okay we are almost done our logo is almost done so the next thing we want to do is to add some shadows to our logo and then we'll start with the center text here so all we need to do is to select the text and we'll come down to shadow right we are going to add a shadow to it so we'll select it and then we'll enable the shadow so what we want to do is we'll reduce the opacity so let's leave the opacity to 100 but we'll reduce the blur radius to let's say five reduce the blur radius to five we'll leave the offset the way it is and we'll click on ok right we'll do the same for the we'll do the same for the circle select the circle and then we'll select the shape option then we'll head down to, to we'll head down to shadow and we'll select the shadow we'll check it and then we'll reduce the blur radius to four let me see three yeah two okay let's reduce it to two i think it's okay so we'll check it i will select the inner cycle as well select this shadow and then we'll also reduce our blur radius down to two and then we'll check and we'll select the text in the part and then select the text option then we'll add a shadow to it and we'll reduce the blur radius to four and then we'll check we'll select the inner the text in the part below and then we'll select shadow and we'll reduce the blur radius to four and i think it's perfect yes our logo is perfect the next thing we want to do is to change the background of our logo so all we want to do is to all we want to do is to select this icon here right we'll select this icon here and then we'll select the image here so i will select the image you see that we have different backgrounds here that are pre-built on pixel lab right so we'll test this and i think that's the exact background we used for our first logo and i think it's perfect well, let me try another one okay okay we can use this this is fine then we'll check then i think we'll select our text below and then we'll adjust it a bit so what i want to do is to select the text icon and then we'll select the position option here right i have a video where i explain all these um, tools on pixel lab so i advise you watch it to understand what they do so this positioning we want to take the text up a bit because we're using a mobile phone if we drag it by hand it will be a bit difficult for us to put it in place so we reduce the movement by pixel to 1px and then we'll take it up a bit yes and we'll take it to the right a bit and i think it's perfect so we are done creating our logo the next thing we want to do is to save our file we'll save our file it is advisable when designing to save your file so that in case there is an error with pixel lab application your the progress of your work has been saved so we'll click on the save icon here and we'll save as a project first and we'll save it as logo design tutorial we'll save it and then we'll save it as a picture as well so we'll save image as a picture so it is advisable to save your logo as jpg if you want to use it for your profile 
or you save it as png if you want to place it on a design so that it doesn't have a background but we want to use it for our profile so we'll save it as a jpg so we'll select save to gallery and then our logo has been saved to our gallery so let me head on to my gallery and then i will show you the logo on our gallery so i'll open my gallery and then you can see you can see no 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 back and then you can see the logo we just created isn't this amazing yeah it is and that is that about this tutorial guys please subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification icon so that you can be notified when we post a new video thank you and see you in the next one